Today we are at the Mount Pleasant Farmers Market with the movers, shakers and creators who are keeping our bellies and shopping baskets full. The Mount Pleasant Farmers Market is the place to be with freshly picked vegetables, fruits and flowers. But it doesn't stop there. Ready-made meals, local seafood, baked and canned goods and locally produced snacks are all hot topics. Today, we stop by to Blue Pearl Farms, Olinda Olives, and Fields Farm to hear from the smiling faces themselves. We are an organic practice blueberry farm. Um, we're outside McClellanville on the edge of the Francis Marion National Forest. We keep about 100 colonies of bees in several different locations so we can target different plant communities in the low country and have a real vivid taste of the low country for people to try. And that includes some that include our blueberry nectar from the bees collecting nectar from the flowers. We never add anything to our honey. And we also keep bees in the swamp where they go to visit tupelo trees, black tupelo and saw palmetto, which makes a different tasting honey. And then we have honeys that reflect the coastal plains. So our goal is to have things that are really irresistible to people. So we work really hard to provide high quality, unique opportunities to understand what the low country has to offer. So these are really old fashioned blueberries. But they're easy to grow, difficult to maintain and pick. So people don't really like to grow them so much, but they have fabulous flavor. We pick them fresh every day before we come to the market. And when people come to the market, we can kind of tell if they're coming to the honey and the blueberries because they have this look on their face. My name is Joseph Fields. I'm the third generation farmer. Grandparents had the property. My family had the property to farm. Now I got the farm. And I'm farming until my grandson get up to eight to eat. You gotta take over the farm. And uh, people love low country, local fresh, fresh produce, organic produce. And I'm trying to grow the best for them. Tomatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe, squash, kale, broccoli, all of them good stuff that they love to eat. So this is Olinda Olives and Olive Oil and truly a family business. Uh, we bought Olive Acreage in 1999 and this company in 2005 out in California. And I began, began doing farmer markets in 2011 and have now grown to six markets, really enjoy it, fresh products. People at farmer markets really like to know where their food comes from and we're able to tell them the story.